What is going on guys? Juno Sloth here and welcome to another episode in this Titan Push series. Diving into this first raid you will see that the air defense are all on the upper half of the base and due to the cannon in the top left compartment I'm going to attack from the top right. So I've spread my four lava hounds out in the hope of soaking up bombs and I've got my balloons spread out behind them quickly followed by the minions. I'm just waiting and then I'm going to pop my rage spells in where I can best utilize the biggest group of balloons. I decided to freeze the air sweeper there as well as the multi inferno and then I'm going to refreeze that again because them two defenses are your main nemesis against this attack. I've then put my rage in to try and push my balloons right over the town hall. Unfortunately they go down and the multi inferno gets on my minions and at this point we're only at 40%. So if we analyse the situation now and think of our chances of getting the 50% and the town hall, there's a lot of defences in the middle there surrounding that town hall and we don't know how many skeleton traps are there as well. So at this point I decided it's a good option to put my king and queen in just at the side in order to pick up the 50% and the 1 star and ensure that I don't get the loss. Can't always get the two star, sometimes you do have to revert to plan B and just make sure that you're constantly improving your trophy count and not going back over. So finishing up this raid, we ended up with nine trophies. Okay, moving on to the next raid, you'll see it's quite a spread out base. Air defences are very well spread out as well. I decided to attack from the bottom right, mainly just because this is a symmetrical base, but there are buildings on the opposite side that aren't inside of the walls that I can use as a backup plan if I'm struggling for the 50%. So I put my hounds in, again spreading them out to try and soak up bombs with the balloons behind. I need to be careful that the single inferno does not get on my hounds which it's out of the way at first that's a good sign because hopefully it will start locking onto my balloons instead of the hounds as they move forward. Raging the balloons through, I'm going to freeze that air sweeper. I did get the inferno at the same time, but it's not a big deal because it's a single. Should have really been catching the expo there as well with that freeze. Bit of a, a mistake there. You'll see I'm at 43%, slowly racking up, but I'm nowhere near the town hall. And I did actually accidentally put my king in at the start when I was trying to put my clan castle in. So he's bust through that wall. Should have maybe pressed his rage earlier as well, especially since that single inferno was on him. He was going to go down very quickly. 49% with a couple of skeleton traps there. So if I use my poison spell, I can get shot of them. Put my queen in, hoping that maybe she'd go for that single inferno first. And then I might have a slight nab at the town hall. Didn't quite work out. I knew it was going to be safe because she's got her royal cloak. So we're going to only end up with the one star on this raid. And it means that we finish with eight trophies. And the next raid, oops, something missing here. Oh, there it is. It's at the side. Town Hall's out at the side. We are going to snipe that with a couple of minions. I mainly wanted to show you this raid more for spell placement than anything else. So I'm going to attack from the north. There's my Lava Hounds going in with the spread of balloons in my clan castle. Each set of balloons are going to take one compartment so I've put a rage spell over each compartment you'll then see that my freeze spell takes the multi inferno the expo and the tesla there very patient with my rage so that they're not overlapping too much making sure they do maximum damage over the center the next freeze spell then freezes again the same three defenses and you'll see that I've just cruised through and picked up the second star as well no real need to deploy my heroes at this point However, I do notice them two gold storages over on the right hand side and I couldn't help myself. I have to take that as well. So I'm going to put the king in first to distract and the queen behind to take out the storages. And as this raid is wrapping up, you will see this guy is still in the champion one league. So he is worth a few less trophies. I ended up getting six trophies for the two star victory. Moving on to the last raid, you will see this guy is in Titan 2. So let's just say that he is worth a fair amount. Yeah buddy. That is right, 55 trophies. 
I decided to attack from the right hand side on this one, mainly just so I could line up the Infernos and the Air Sweeper that is pointing in that direction is of slightly lower level than the other one. Good spread on the balloons there, you'll see either side. Popping my Rages in nice and deep into the base to utilise them over the defences. Freeze spell takes the Multi Inferno and I might as well take the Expo at the same time. And then at this stage, as ever, it is basically using that final Rage and Freeze spell at the optimal time and position. In this case, I decided to Rage the Balloons towards the Multi Inferno and also Freeze it. The minions are on the town hall there and the balloons manage to distract the multi inferno just enough so that they can nip it. That's always good if you can get it before the heroes because then you can purely just deploy them to pick up the 50%. So I pop the archer queen in the bottom there and I get a whopping 37 trophies. And heading back to base here. Hey, I did that with only 6 balloons in my clan castle because there is my 7th. Thank you very much. If we check out the leaderboards now, you'll see that I am at my all-time high of 4,284 trophies. Moving over to leaderboards, um, there it is. We finished last episode globally on 8,689th, and this episode we have moved up to 7,335th. Not too bad. Moving down to Great Britain leaderboard, we finish 169th. So we have made the Great Britain leaderboards, we have done it guys, but can I hear a 5,000? No, I don't think we're going to go that far. We may push the Titan 2 or the top 150 in Great Britain leaderboards. I think that would be a nice target for us. This has been Judo Sloth. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe for more Clash content. Until next time, peace out. Yeah.